Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. It is match day. The time now is 7.50 and we're gonna have in 10 minutes our breakfast because the match starts at 11 o'clock. So we have breakfast all together just downstairs at eight o'clock and then we have to be at the stadium, which is just two minutes away from my, from where we are now, which is literally on the other side. And we need to be at the stadium at around 9.30. So it's a very early kickoff. I'm not really used to that, but I'm gonna have for breakfast, probably just porridge and, and some fruits, but that's it. And all the focus now to the match. And hopefully, because it's a derby, it's my home debut, it's a very important match. I mean, every match is important, but this one, like when you play your first match at home with your new club and it's a derby as well, because we literally share the same stadium, both teams and the same training ground. And it's a huge match. And I know this match is recorded, but before we go downstairs, let me quick show you guys what I received earlier amazing guys finally my boguva sliders yes sir so amazing so amazing seriously and the quality is so so good like ay 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 i mean that's amazing i finally have my boguva sliders the only thing which is missing is Buguva porridge, but we're gonna get there. But guys, they are going to be very, very soon available. Quality is really, really nice. But all the focus now to the match, and this is my match highlights. So, welcome to the voiceover, and this is where the game started. And I was pretty confident this time. I was not as nervous as my first match because I played my first match already. And in this match, we had a bit more of possession, and me as a centre back, because we play with 3 5 2, I had more of the ball, as you guys will see. And that comes to me to your favor because I just love to get on the ball. And in this match, I received a lot of like passes where I just play it simple to my center back partners. Because as a center back, you can either do simple passes or like diagonals and long balls or passes to break the lines into the midfield and but in this game, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. As you guys see, I just played. Once I received the ball, I open up my body and I try to play it simple. Here I play a free kick to one of our midfielders, but his touch is a bit heavy. And there we lose the ball. And then this is our first goal we concede. Like in this kind of situation, we can't lose the ball. And then they play a 1-2. And then our left centre back fouls the striker and it's a penalty. And in the last five or six matches, our team conceded 12 penalties. This is just crazy. But this is their 1-0. And then he received the ball and tried to switch the play because I always like think that once I get the ball from one side I try to switch this side here striker comes towards me I block him but somehow they still have possession 
and me being six foot six, I always have an advantage. Like, if crosses are coming into the box, I need to be there with my height. I need to try to clear the ball as much as possible. But this is their second goal. So it comes out wide and he's inside the box and I try to block the shot, but straight into the striker and they scored. And this is so unlucky for me personally, because I mean, the winger is inside the box, he fires it in. So I don't really have that much time to react because normally I need to clear that ball as far as possible, but I don't really have that much time to react. I try to block it and unfortunately, Block it straight into the striker's foot and he scores. Here, free kick. I mean, it was a very, very unfortunate start for us. Here, I clear it out. We were, I think, 3 0 down in like 25 minutes. And like when you're 3 0 down in a game, where it's such it's such an important game a derby i mean you have either two options either to to give up or to really try to just lift yourself up lift this lift the team up and try to just keep going keep going and that's what we did as you will see So, and then here we have a corner and this is where I nearly scored. I just need to do a bit better in that. I mean, it's a corner like I could score from that. And then here again, receive the ball. A simple pass to my center back partners. Three minutes left in the first half, we receive a corner and we score. And we knew at that point, 3-1, everything is possible when you believe. And it was so important to get a goal before the end of the first half. So that lifted the whole team up. Here I clear the ball. And this is the second half start. And we just thought, you know what? let's just let's just do it let's just do it let's give it our all we have nothing to lose anymore and we just went all in so as you guys see we pressed high and they were forced to do more long balls and that just comes me to your favor because i'm so tall so i just headed everything out Here I received the ball and because we are 3-1 down and I wanted to play this time more like break the line passes and I tried to find our strikers but yeah that's I think in my opinion that's a good pass because the striker he doesn't really anticipate the pass but yeah we lose the ball here. Here I received the ball again simple two touch 
get it out of my feet and then play it quick. And that's a great switch of play by our midfielder, Martin Remakle. And then this is our second goal. There we score, 3-2. We were 3-0 down and now we scored the second goal. At that point, we knew, okay, we're going we're gonna to get them. We're going to break them. Because we were so full of confidence and we knew that like, they were not really playing the ball out. They were just kicking the ball long. And that just came us to a favour. And then 72 minutes played, free kick. I go up, hit the ball to our striker, 3-3. What a game. Derby. And we just scored the equaliser after a 3-0 lead for the opponent. Corner for them. And here I clear it out. And at that point, I just said to myself, okay, we actually can win this game. And we had so many opportunities to score the 4-3. And then here, strikers strikes the ball. I blocked the shot. Again, another long ball. And then I received the ball and I just thought, no, just clear it out. He again received the ball and tried to find our strikers. Maybe I could have played there easy a bit, but yeah, I just tried to find our strikers here. I had it out. Again, long ball and with my height, I just had it out. But maybe I should have had it out a bit wider not into the striker's feet free header so second half the whole team we just played better we won more duos and me personally i want all my duos in the air i block shots everything but then I mean, football sometimes is not fair. Long ball. This is extra time. 94th minute. Long ball. I clear the ball out, but the referee says penalty. 94th minute. And at that point, I was just... Like, you know, sometimes you just want to disappear and... Like worst, worst moments like in my football, football career. Wow, 94th minute, you come back from a 3-0 lead from your opponent. And you come back, equalize, give the assist and you cause the penalty in the last second, literally. Four three lost, and there you hear it straight after the penalty. The referees ends the game. What a game! What a game! So this is the day after because yesterday. I was simply not able to to talk like I was so disappointed in me personally and I mean even though that in my opinion obviously I was the man who who was there like it was not a penalty but the referee gives the penalty in the last minute after you come back from a 3-0 and you you are you just cause the penalty in the last second. I mean, how do you feel? Like yesterday I felt like I couldn't talk to anyone, but what I love about this team is that a couple of teammates, they just came up here into my room and they just tried to cheer me up and said like, listen, 
things like this happen and that's why I so appreciate this team because we are such a like a family and it's so nice to to play in this team and that's why I just want to give it my all every single time and even in the second goal even though the guy fires it in like from a close close range and I need to do better I need to do better I need to somehow just clear the ball out and I need to do better but we're here to improve and I'm going to improve I need to work hard and I will work hard so the only thing is just head up and we keep going we keep going because I actually played played not not so so bad and we keep going we keep going but thanks again for all your support for all your messages as i always say in every video christine brandau you guys are just simply amazing but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button guys and keep in mind when you believe everything is mm, possible so team brandau I'll see you next time.